Hey there, Oscar Carmona, owner of Healing Ground Certified Biodynamic Nursery located in beautiful Santa Barbara, California. Here today to talk to you about how many plants can you put on a balcony? Now the possibilities are endless. It's not an exact number. It all depends on the size of the balcony and the conditions for growing there and what that might offer you. It also depends on the uh, variety of plants you're interested in growing and how um, creative you can be in providing growing opportunities for your garden. So how much space do you need? Well, you need to consider what the plants are going to grow into. And so you want to make sure that they have their space. And the neat thing about pots is they're modular. You can mix and match. You can turn these things around as they're growing to get them exposed in different ways, to get them to grow into a space that is their own. And when you have different sized pots, you create vertical space. Vertical space is that magical dimension that allows you to increase your growing capacity where before you never thought possible if you're just looking at a general basic uh, patio floor plan or balcony floor plan. Um, and um, you can do that in a number of ways. You can do that with the pots themselves. You can do that with tables and floor and shelves. You can do that with hanging tapestry-like uh, um, growing uh, environments that uh, are really wonderful for especially growing leafy greens. Um, so the answer to the question, how many plants can you grow on a uh, balcony? That's the question that only you can answer, my friends. And that has to do with, you know, again, the amount of produce that you want to, to, to harvest in any given time and the extent to which you can let your imagination lead you to the potential of hanging baskets and uh, tapestry gardens or shelf gardens along the walls. Remember, always feed the soil and let the plants feed you. Have a great day.